Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Grace from Grace's Diamond World and if this is your first time stumbling on my channel, I would love for you to stumble, stay and subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below next to which is a notification bell. It's going to go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. Without wasting any more time, let's throw some love out to the patrons of the channel and also some gratitude to those of you that have liked and subscribed so far. For those of you that are still thinking about it, here's some thinking music. I want to see you guys on the flip side. This is going to be a massive video. Strap yourselves in and come join me. Come with me, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you excited? I am so super excited. Okay, so what I'm essentially going to be showing you today is all my collected storage solutions that I've gotten thus far over my course of diamond painting uh, and, of course, on YouTube as well. Okay, I've, I've gone out and collected a lot and I've done most of them, if not all of them, I've done an unboxing at some stage or another and I'll, I'll link that up there in the eye for you or down in the description, okay? What this is all about is, you know, when you get your diamonds in a diamond painting, you may select to keep them in the original packaging or you can do what we call kitting up and in some cases also kitting down. So there's kitting down solutions as well. What do I mean by that? Well, sometimes you will get your diamonds that will come in packets like this that, or individual or in chains of, of diamonds and, and so on and so forth. I personally cannot work out of baggies, okay? I just can't. However, it would be remiss of me not to say that this indeed uh, is actually a form of kidding up. You can work out of these baggies if you well i can't but you might choose to so uh this is not numbered um in in my sequence so to speak but i just wanted to point out that there is nothing wrong if you're able to work out of baggies and there are many many uh places out there or even you just look inside your own household where you can find containers where these will sit upright and you can just work through your baggies and continue on. It's a hard no from me, it's a no <laughs> to work out of baggies and that's what brought me to the journey of diamond painting storage. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that one up. All right, so let's start with the first one. Now I'm, I'm going in kind of least favorite to then, you know, we're gonna get to that boom, 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 my top three, my top two and my top one diamond painting uh, storage preference. Okay, so coming in at number 20 are these ones. Okay, uh, again, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm not going to go into specifics of all of these. I'm just going to tell you my, my likes and dislikes on each as we move along. Okay, these were purchased with the view of not so much when I'm kidding up a diamond painting, but for long-term special diamond storage or my special drills. They were a hard no in the end. I did start using them, but I just found the capacity too small. Uh, I quickly found that they filled up too quickly. I was forever moving them around and I just didn't like them. I bought, you buy them individually, but I bought, I think, I'm pretty sure you can buy them individually yes you can and i bought three lots at the time each of them holding 20. Uh, i just set them i just put them in my cupboard for the moment and i'll think of something to do with them later but that is coming in at number 20. so that was a no <laughs> coming in at number 19 is this family okay this is number this is another uh storage set they come in chains of four they do pop open sometimes depending where you get them from these flick open really really quickly others will close relatively easy uh, i again don't use these to do my diamond paintings per se however however they do come in different capacities okay one two three four one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 28. This is a set of 28 here. So that's 28. I do happen to have here a set of 56 and these ones come in different colors. Okay, so uh, that's, yeah, 28, 28, 56. I'm doing real quick maths right there. 
I haven't had an opportunity to use this one yet. Um, again, it won't be to do a diamond painting. I'm, I just don't think that these are going to be big enough for the types of diamond paintings that I do. But although I'm happy to be proven wrong. Still keeping within the number 19 section, because that's one size, that's the other. We have here the big mama. <laughs> okay. Now here I, uh, I invested in this one. Okay. So we're at number 19. I'm just going to pop that there. This came in a hard case like so. It came with all of the containers that you see inside and from memory also these labels, that's probably why I've kept them in there. And uh, I like this and I've got in here all my special drills, see? So these are all the, when, when I've finished my paintings and things and I've got leftovers, I've kitted them in here and there's heaps of room in them for these sort of diamonds because I, I although I have a lot of special drill paintings I don't have a gazillion of them as such I have enough that this is just a pretty leftover lot here it's visually appealing they kind of sit straight sometimes when they feel like it here I've got my here I've got my glow in the darks okay they're my glowing glow in the dark leftovers uh, and so on and so forth so comes nicely contained in this here so different sizes different combinations different permutations but that is what came in at number 19 setting this aside i might end up running out of room up here which means i will probably have to um stop and start the video at some point but we'll keep going now Coming in at number 18. You may have seen me struggle with this. Do you remember this baby here? I, uh, this was a fun video. This is coming in at number 18. The reason being is because I struggled so much with it. This was bought uh, from a random store, but it was this one here. Okay. Oh, let me zoom you out just a little bit. Okay, do you remember this one here? Now this here, I actually had to uh, really struggle, okay, because the drawers just don't come out nicely. Like not, not, not really, uh, well they do now, it's making a liar of me, isn't it? So even that bottom one, I kind of have to lift, lift it out. It comes with the bottles. Um, Again, I'm not the biggest, biggest fan. However, this I may or may not end up using for long-term storage. I haven't decided yet, although my long-term storage, I've spent quite a significant amount of energy into keeping it in baggies. A lot of these here, I'm just seeing these bottles. <clears throat> you can see how, can you see the plastic in there? How it's um really weird. But the, the bottles that we all know about, the capacity of the bottles is quite good. It's not amazeballs, but it's quite good. I haven't engaged this. Now, this was a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sixes are 54 plus 54 plus 53. Uh, what is it? Three, five, 150 plus 12, 160, 164. Does that sound about right? Give or take. I don't know. Someone will correct the maths, I'm sure. I didn't say I was going to do well on that. <laughs> I do remember, though, when I unboxed this, in order to be able to get those drawers open, I really, I had to pry this apart. It just wasn't, it wasn't fun. And that's why it's kind of been sitting at the back. And like to get to the back bottles, I have to really like lift it out and just just not a fun sort of thing whilst it's got all these up here these sections up here where you can if you wish put some bottles up there if you if you're doing some multi colors so you could put some up there of course you can use that to put pens as well and and your wax and your your whatever it is that you're using it's multiple multiple uses okay so that was my number 18, okay? Don't ask me what it's called. Don't ask me. 
it was kind of, I, I haven't been hankering to use it yet. Not yet. Watch this space. <laughs> All right, setting that one to the side up there. I know it's in shot, but just bear with me. Okay, coming in at number... Da -da 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 -da. Uh, do you remember this one? 17, number 17 are these drawers. Now, I have been looking everywhere. I'm missing a drawer. I have no words. I have no explanation. I cannot help you. Please don't ask me. I don't know where it is. I really don't know where it is, um, which is really sad. It's, it's bothering me. It's come in at 17 purely because more than anything, it's come with the small tic-tac-toe containers. Okay, I don't use small tic-tac-toe containers at all. Not for me, no siree, no thank you. It's a hard no. Now, if you're one to use the small one, did I say tic-tac-toe? <laughs> Here we go, it's only the start of the video. Tic-tac, not tic-tac-toe, the small tic-tac containers. So why do we call them Tic Tac containers? Because they give you vibes of being, you know, the Tic Tacs, you know, the suckable Tic Tacs that we suck on. <laughs> That's a mini version of those. I don't particularly like these. I know a lot of people use these when they're uh, working on larger projects with a lot of colors that have got a little mount in them. They find them easy to work with uh, and they do fit really nicely in here, okay? Oh, and in the bottom, let me turn it upside down. You can, oh, you probably can't see, but that sheet underneath or see that sheet underneath that's labels that you can put on here that was another thing that i really didn't like having to put the labels along there that would eventually bend them it was just a, yeah no 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 they do hold a lot okay you can use these you can use bottles okay one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. About 22 odd bottles, and that's a tight squeeze in there. Okay. 22 bottles and bottles. Don't ask me what that one was. These are Tic Tacs. I would say that they were four Tic Tacs there. And you can buy these individually. You can buy them as a set of two. You can buy them uh, as a set of four nine and so on the beauty about these and if you haven't seen them before if you take them we'll take them out because i've made the mistake of not taking these out is that at the bottom at the bottom at the back you've got the drill holes you can put these on the wall if you've got the space to and that then frees up space on your desk they also do slip and slide apart okay so you can lego your heart out oh and it's always fun trying to put them on and together you can make them as tall as you wish okay well, I really don't want to get too far bogged down into this see I've stacked that up. oh that was it oh gosh that just slid <laughs> I'm going well going well Gracie right we've done one two three four five high i don't want to put that on but if i wanted to stick this on the middle i can i really can and i'll show you just for just for fun just for fun and it's not going to let me do it is it come on there we go just for fun if i wanted to i could have a, a, a an arrangement like that See? And I can have a gap here and have something else underneath there if I wanted to. I can make all sorts of Tetris arrangements, okay? I probably don't know how... It probably would hold its weight. I mean, the world is your oyster, really. Given that I am missing a drawer, right? I could have that sort of arrangement and stick my pens in there if I wanted to. I, I'm missing a drawer because I don't know where it is, not because it didn't come with the set, okay? So let me uh, just, let me just make this look a little bit, you know, normal. Mm. Gracie, why Gracie, why? Mm. 
this is going to take me forever. I'm just going to set this to the side, shall I? One sec. Because that wasn't a struggle at all, was it? Yes. No. Insert sarcasm here. Okay. So these go in there. Again, she's been sitting in my cupboard. Uh, and I haven't really engaged or, you know, done anything about using it. I should. I should. I'll think of something. I'll think of something. All right. Popping that one to the side over, over yonder. And coming in at number... 16 is this baby this suitcase here okay again it's been sitting in the cupboard because i actually had a whole run of different suitcases and things like that and i've not really had a use for this one yet okay however coming open we've got the zipped up inside net We've got our labels. I should put that in there just for safekeeping. Eh? That would be smarter. Oh, it's only a half zip. Is that? It's only a half zip. That's probably why. Maybe if I carefully bend it like so. Pop them in there. Okay. This comes with two layers. Okay. Two layers of, again, the screw top type containers this is your half size and down here is your full size okay uh, from memory I think this is 120 one two three four five six seven eight how am I gonna count this I think it's about 120 eight one two five six six eight so 48 yeah give or take 120 containers however half of them are this small small um, smaller size you could if you wanted to i guess do what i'm about to show you it'll be interesting if they fit because we're going to get to number 15 in a second i'm curious about something uh i, I i'm not a oh i'm not a fan of the small ones that's what put me off this i thought that they would be bigger and given the way that i like to set out my diamonds when i'm kidding up i couldn't in my head figure out how I would put some in the small and then some in the big because at the time when I unbox it I'm pretty sure oh no they do interchange I could interchange them into smalls if I wanted to anywho again if you're into big paintings or long-term storage this could be the one for you putting that aside let's look at number uh, I've got everything numbered so that's why I'm keeping in in thing number 15 which was this one. It came to me like this. I was so upset. I can't remember if it was Etsy, Amazon or AliExpress. I was so upset that it came all dinged up because it's such a beautiful rose color, gold, uh, rubbery here. It was just a beautiful container. Again, I think these were originally beauty cases and some smart cookie has gone and said, why don't we make them into diamond painting cases now the reason i kept this out and no it's not going to fit i was going to say could you put these one on the other and no you can't because this is rounded and this is squared off okay i have a feeling that this one here may hold more beautiful little case though so sad i was so sad when it came all dinged up again i haven't particularly used this set it comes with the two layers the thin foam here you could go to town one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven so 17 it's 140 in this one 140 great if you are going traveling i would recommend uh that when if you go traveling with this and you're going to have it upright uh make sure all your lids are on tightly Okay, and we'll get to a reason why late in, in, in when as we get into different ones. Okay, so that's another suitcase style. Again, um, she's been sitting in my cupboard, uh, dinged up because I haven't really at this point found which painting I want to kit up in it. So that's number fifteen and sixteen. Let me set these aside.
Okay, are we ready for number 14? Number 14 is our good old fashioned plain, simple Ziploc bag. I don't remember if this was sent to me as a promotion. See, I numbered them all. <laughs> I don't remember if this was sent to me as a promotion or if I purchased. Again, most if not all of the in-depth unboxings will be in the description below. This is one layer. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sixty bottles. This comes in all different sizes. I think you can get even ones with only seven bottles in there. So you can go seven, um, uh, all different numbers, 21, 28, 24, 60, 50, like, <sighs> knock yourself out, right? The idea is that they, it comes down to whether or not you like your bottles, whether or not you like this sort of case. I'm not gonna go into this too, too much, okay? At number 14, there was this one. I also found, for example, this one. Is this one upside down? I have a feeling it might be upside down. It's a glittery one. So the types of cases you can buy and the outside are endless. Forgetting what's in the inside because that's kind of relevant to something else. <laughs> but there are different cases, okay? You probably got a sneak peek. It doesn't matter. Because what I tend to do is I take out the inserts and I interchange them. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So that is our number 14. Okay, let's set that to the side over here. Coming in at number 13. Now, this one comes as a disclaimer. Coming in at number 13. Disclaimer. I still haven't used it. This is my craft mates. And I've put this one in here because I feel that when I do get to use it, I will actually enjoy it. I didn't want to sort of put it too far to the like I don't like pile and I'm not going to sit there and say it's one of my favorites until I actually do use it. So this one here, uh, it does, you press this button and they unlock, okay? And then as soon as you take your hand off or your finger off here, it locks them down, see? It, it pushes that little mechanism. I know some people swear black and blue by these, so I am actually quite looking forward to using them. I think from memory, this was the biggest set. I like the fact that it's all beautifully contained in here. I know that when I did the unboxing to this video, oh look, it matches my nails. <laughs> I know when I did the unboxing video to this, a lot of people said that they had these. Uh, you can put, oh, that's something I don't like. See how they slip out? Look at that, interesting. Uh, you can put the name of the painting or even a picture of the thumbnail in here so that you know what painting it belongs to. Super cute. The capacity on these, I know, of each individual container was actually quite a lot. That that holds a bunch ton. Okay, a bunch ton? You know what I mean. It, it, it holds a lot. Have I got this the right way? Yeah. I don't think there is a, a right or a wrong way. Beautiful and purple, beautifully cased. It wasn't... Uh, wasn't the cheapest um, as far as as far as price goes however quality and, and everything like that it wasn't too bad again prices chop oh, look at even I, I haven't even <laughs> prices chop and change all the time with with storage and anything that we buy diamond painting so I'm kind of a little bit weary in giving prices because when I bought this could be completely different to the price that it is today and you might end up scoring it on a sale. Beautiful velveteen or velvety, velour type cover. So that's why she's kind of smack bang almost in the middle of my ratings, so to speak. So that's 13. Let's look at, let's look at, let's look at. If that was 13, we're up to 12. Ah, 12. There she is all the way down there. The outer case. The outer case here, from for those that live in Australia, the outer case is from, uh, what do you call it? The outer case is from, oh my gosh, Kmart. Not expensive, I think the outer case cost me six bucks and it's actually a scrapbook case. It's a scrapbook case for scrapbook paper, which is normally 12 by 12 inches, okay? And inside, I store my ABs. 
And these containers here I bought it from Spotlight. I like these containers for that reason, other than the fact that some of them have escaped in here. Can you see? Don't like that. Inside I've just put in the little tabs that came with them that I bought them from. I bought these from Shoalhaven Sparklers. And I've got myself a nice little set of spare ABs here. See? All beautifully done. These are just spare, obviously, organza bags. But you can see that I've got them all beautifully set out like so. These are the square ones down there. So they're square, square. And then these are my rounds. And then I've got a, a row, a single row, similar sort of container, but this is a single one of crystals. Don't know why I decided to put these in here and not in my other one, potentially because this came before my other. But these can certainly be kitted down into the other, into the earlier one that I was showing, you know, the little ones, okay? I can certainly kit them down into there. And then I've got just random, very rare. Oh, look, there's the, look, Tinker, Eva, look. These, I, I, I wrote on there who they were from. These are from my beautiful, gorgeous friend, Eva, over in the UK, uh, who's got her own diamond painting channel, if I, remember, if I remember. Hopefully I do, I'll link her down below. And she sent me this in a little, beautiful little love and care package. And I said, I'm going to write the name on it so that when I put them on a painting, I'm going to remember they're from her. So they're here, nice and safe. And they're just some more extra diamonds that I, I haven't actually put away. Yep, so that's that's a, that's a project for another time, a conversation for another time. So that's come in at number 12. And that's what I store my ABs in. Not so much my special diamonds, but my ABs. Okay, so that's 12. Let's pop that down there. All right, coming in at number 11. Were these little babies? Do you remember these ones? these zip open okay like so you've got your half bottles up the top remember your little half bottles okay and then two more rows of these of the bigger ones now you can see how I'm finagling to get these out imagine if they were full of diamonds right so you could if you wanted to have them all set out in a pretty little row like that somewhere and work with them you could use these again for long-term storage you can use these as a one two three four five six seven one two three four seven two. so you could have a couple of paintings you could have two two paintings there and maybe some a special drill one there so you can have potentially up to three paintings kitted up in here making sure that you would label somewhere what the names of those paintings are okay so this came in at my number 11 Pop that in there. At the time, <coughs> excuse me, there was a bit of dust in that one. At the time, I don't, I think I double ordered and I got myself a pink one and voila, I got myself a green one. So this feels heavy, is it? Have I kitted up a painting in here and I don't even know? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Oh, <gasps> there is a painting in here kitted up and I have no clue what it is. Oh my goodness. Oh dear, well that's all sorts of, oh, oh crap, there's two paintings in here. Oh dear, oh my, I'm discovering this with you guys. I can't, and that's a square, oh, I know. oh, is that, is that which one I think it is? Yeah, that's one that I'm probably not going to continue with if I know it, that's, for, uh, that's a budget square one, that one I think I know which one that is, I'm going to throw that out because the squares were terrible. This is a round Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to find out which round painting I've got lying around that's got all tones of uh, browns. And it's a, it's, oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, see, see what happens? I've kitted up a painting and I have no idea which one it is. It's rounds and it's got a lot of muted browns and greys. Fun for me. This one here, I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. I think. I think if it's the budget one then I think I know if it's not the budget one then again I'm in a lot of trouble 
Anywho, okay, I'll have to work that one out another time. But you can see I do use them. And I'm, and at the time, I would have coloured them differently. See how that's in red and that's in blue or black? I would have coloured them differently so that I would remember which painting I was working on. How did that work out for me? Not so good. So I'm going to have to figure out what paintings they belong to. Isn't that rather concerning? <laughs> so that's number 11. We are now up to the top 10. And coming in at number 10 is... Voila! Recently up... Uh, recently... I, I should take these off before I put them on there. Coming in at number 10 is the recently un unboxed Art Dot bag. Okay, I particularly like, I, obviously, I, I just recently got this, like literally a week or two ago. I haven't had an opportunity to use this, but I know it's going to rate highly because I was really super impressed with this foam here being so super thick. The bottles are just your regular bottles, as of course, holding that wonderful capacity. But what I liked about this is that you got two rows of full size. These are two rows of the full size, okay? The, the bag itself, this here, quite sturdy, really good for traveling. If you're going to go traveling or if you take your diamond paintings to work, it came with a whole bunch of goodies. Not all of them do come with uh, extra goodies, but this particular one did, and I was super impressed. Uh, branded, if you're not, if you didn't know, I'm actually an affiliate for Art Dot. Uh, the description and all the uh, discount code will be in the description below you do get free shipping worldwide or in most countries I'm told so I'm really excited uh, a lot of my creator friends along with me I think they hit us all up at the same time which is really rather exciting so if you come across someone else who's an art dot affiliate support them support their channel all for sharing the love absolutely but this is what came in at number 10 and I I can't remember if I chose this or if they had another color, but it, it's this one's got the purple trim. So I was really excited about that. Popping that one to the side, we are down to single digits, ladies and gentlemen. Single digits as I look down here for where and what. I'm going to bring them up here so that they're easier to grab. We are up to number nine and it coming in at number nine was this one I did do an unboxing for it I cannot remember where I got it now it's got a painting in there it's this one see at least I put the label on this one it's my crafties Flora Lee which I still haven't finished yet and comes with these here I've simply I actually didn't mind these containers at all when I was using them. I actually look forward to coming back and using them again. I numbered them easily with just the numbers on this. I can't remember what the kit was exactly. In here, I've kept my my overflows because this set came with these. Indeed, this is one of, I believe, two or three that I purchased because... Mm, they come in a mixture of two different sizes. So there was this size here and this size here. Okay, and I've just popped them in there to, to stop them all rattling around. Okay. I enjoyed this one, easy. When you open this, it's nice and easy to put your, your pen in, okay? Make sure that you do hear that click shut. My concern was this gap here, see that gap? So I'm just super, super careful. Uh, the outside, this here was damaged also. Oh, that's what happened. I remember now. This came to me damaged, so they sent me a, an, another one in the mail. I happened to just kit up in this. I think I've got another... I think I've got the other one kitted up with a different painting in the cupboard. So uh, that one came in at number... What are we up to, people? Nine. Nine? Eight. What am I up to? Oh, you babe. This is not going to be... Nine. They came in at number nine. Nine? Yes, nine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I hope I haven't mucked this up. They came in at number nine. Right. Popping that to the side. Coming in at number eight 
is coming in at number eight is this one this beautiful little one these cases here okay so again oh this is oh it's at the front ah! coming in at number eight flicking that open what have I got here? I've got the recently completed. I've just got to kit this down. These are on my leftovers. I still haven't kitted them down. I don't know if I'm going to keep them or, or, or not. But the com recently completed Kaiser Craft Australia, Map of Australia. That's what I worked out of this. One, two, three. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, 28. 28 and 28. What's that? 56. And these are the half bottles here. Okay, so these are the, your little ones again. It's the little ones that kind of put me off. I'd, I'd be curious to know who out there uses the little ones. Really curious. But I enjoyed I enjoyed working out of this. And at the time, I I think there might be. I think you can get. I think there's four in this sort of series because if you can see out the corner of your screen, there's a second one here. And wouldn't it be a surprise to me if I open this up and there's a and there's something kitted up in here. That would be kind of embarrassing. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> they do come with labels. And no, I haven't kitted anything up in here. Okay, so this came in at an eight. I really enjoyed working with it. It's nice, it's compact. They stack one on top of each other. They look really nice. When I do my videos, uh, sometimes, depending where I'm sitting or whatever, they actually sit on top of my cupboard behind me and I've got them sitting one like that and one like that and they're actually quite nice for decorations as well. So that's our number eight. Coming in at number seven. I have got this little one. Now there are. This came with more, more, um, more of these containers. But this has been kitted up for what's this? Harmony by Crafties. I've got so many whips I'm discovering right now that I've forgotten what I had. But this is one that I still haven't finished. As you can see, I had that inside so that I knew what was in there. This would have come with a full amount. And my beloved, 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 as I like to call them, Tic Tac on steroid containers. I love these, can't say, I can't, I can't scream from the hilltops enough. Uh, this only had, obviously, a small amount of colors. What's that, 17, maybe 17, 18. Well, I'll tell you straight away if I did. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 colours. So 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. So this fits 30. This fits 30 altogether. Uh, I went on a, a shopping spree trying to find as many of these combinations and permutations. A nice little kit to sit on your desk. You can work straight out of it. Nothing wrong with it. The plastic isn't terribly, terribly rigid, so it might tend to bounce a little bit if you were to drop it, rather than shattering if you dropped it. So that can sometimes be a good thing. Whilst I wouldn't recommend that you try that when you've got diamonds in there because you don't want to run the risk of it splattering and then all these inside opening up. Okay, so that is our number seven. Bringing us now to number six. Just a bigger version okay this one here is a painting that i have to kit down it's melody i've written it in there see melody in pink okay absolutely absolutely love doing this painting absolutely love doing this painting here are some empty bottles here i love these containers i'm telling you now i will scream from the rooftop okay these containers not even joking, not even going to lie. Uh, once I kit this down, that obviously will mean that I will have a whole new set. Now, can you see, I'm trying to find, if you've watched my kitting up videos, what I've done is, this is a rectangle sticker. I showed you some of those stickers earlier on, right? And then what you see on top is another sticker. So this 
bit here is actually what I've cut out of my Zoran sticker maker because then that way when I'm kidding when I'm looking at it all the stickers look quite uniform except for that right don't worry about that that's just because I've stuck the name see melody in pink kinked out <laughs> but otherwise the stickers look fairly uniform this holds a butt ton did we did we count them out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six so this can this holds 60 okay if you're into your diamond art clubs that have got a butt ton of colors uh, you can definitely use one of these absolutely and you can see that I'm not lying in here I've got Patrick <laughs> I've, I do have the paperwork for him somewhere this is uh, the Rose Prophet painting that I'm working on Patrick that was kindly gifted to me by the creative Chris and all the diamonds are in here looking glory these are my overflows I call them overflows not so much leftovers my overflows are ones that didn't fit in here but that 60 colors the painting obviously must have had 60 colors otherwise yeah literally 60 colors and they fit perfectly in here whilst I'm working on a different painting okay so I like to aside from that debacle over there I always like to make sure that I label my paintings in some way shape or form see even there I had Melody in pink here I've had Patrick it's very uh, what can I say it's very uh it's it's, it, 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 it's for kidding down right so literally it doesn't have to be fancy so that's number six we are down to my top five. Oh my gosh top five coming in at number five and lo and behold, I was so happy and so thrilled to find this puppy here in Kmart in Australia. And I'm sure I've seen them also in, um, you know, on, I've, I'm pretty sure I've seen this get up in, on, find your words, Gracie, on Amazon. Now this one here, <laughs> funnily enough, is kitted up with another Call of the Wild. This is a two-year-old Chuck Pinson Chuck Along painting. <laughs> I was so gung-ho in participating in my first Chuck. Oh, my first Chuck. In my first Chuck Along. I started it. I think I've gotten across the first row and I think I'm down to here. I'll have to go get the painting. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, this was my first square also. I also printed off the legend so that I could have it next to me now these bottles here and up here is my overflows look these are all my overflows the ones that didn't fit in the containers below so that i'll put this properly so that i know what the painting is and then you simply can unclip see take that off and here are here are my diamonds now these containers here fit a lot and when I say a lot, they do fit such a lot, like huge, a huge amount. They will fit one of those bags, if not two of those bags, easily. Okay. Uh, this is back before I had anything fancy and I've just put some tape underneath. So, because I, I didn't want the gunk from this sticking to the bottle. So, I've just put that on there like so. Um, I, I won't re-kit this I don't think or I might I don't know but at the moment it's sitting in here and you can see all the pretty colors really nice and not, probably not from the top but if I did this and then did this they just clip and I've actually got and I should have gotten gotten it I've got like heaps of others and I actually gave Rose um, quite a lot of these because I just found other solutions were working better for me and I, and I was sitting in my cupboard I thought yeah, I said to her I said Rose just take them just take them hun uh, and I think I've got maybe another set of three or four and you can you can go as high as you want you can you can you can clip and, and stack these as high as you like so I rate them quite highly rate them quite highly cost wise super cheap super 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 cheap and very affordable okay and look at all those pretty colors I mean gorgeousness gorgeousness gosh I haven't worked on a diamond art club for a while ah but that is our top five okay or that came in at my top five 
we're getting there we're getting there what's coming in have you guessed yet have you guessed coming in at number four is my elizabeth ward or copy thereof okay so you can see here i've got the i've got so many kits that are kitted up that it's ridiculous right i've numbered these uh, probably because i wasn't going to be using the legend i don't know however this is the kiss it's a diamond dots painting it's the kiss it is a round it's got some gorgeous special diamonds in there i like the elizabeth ward uh, or the copy of them these come in various sizes so there's one size there the next one is that one two then there's this one three and then your big mamas this one four see how they're different sizes so depending on how many die and i've got if you're wondering what that piece of random paper is in there that's because it, it hasn't done much has it it's got static so there was a lot of static in these diamonds and i had to sit there and yeah it was not fun i've pretty much got a bit of paper in each of them but these containers here they come in you can buy ones that are just full of all of these i can't remember how many you get but there's different amounts if that makes sense so if you get a full one of these with all of those obviously you're going to get quite a lot some people do use these i've been told for their long-term storage especially if they're going to get this size here i have a crap ton of these i have i think about eight or ten of these so that's got the kiss in it this one here has got a square painting in it it's by create love share uh, it's sea garden cottage again that's a work in progress that i haven't finished yet <laughs> but you can see how pretty they look there is the top container as well now one of these is i, I believe this is the original elizabeth ward okay whereas this one here is the copy of it can you see the slight difference in the handles and your Elizabeth Ward do cost you a pretty penny, the more expensive ones. Okay. For me, they're much of a muchness. See, Seaside Cottage, I just label the side. This one here is United BCA. Okay, which is a ro another Rose Profit painting that's a work in progress. And this one is a round. Again, all kitted up. So I will show you, I'll have to bring it over here. I will show you where I keep these, one sec. So I apologize, I've taken my microphone off, but I've got this here, which is a, again, it's a scrapbooking storage shelving unit. Uh, for those of you in, uh, for those of you in Australia, I got this from Spotlight. And basically this is where I keep all my, oops, that's the shelf. All my paintings uh, sorry not all my paintings all my storage uh, for Elizabeth Ward so you can see here that's an empty one I think that's it and see that's what I mean see how they're all little little okay again all little little don't ask me why I did that because I don't do little little and that's an empty one there heaps okay so I've got what I like about this yeah, is that it gives me options. It gives me options that if I wish to, if I feel like doing one painting or another, I just walk over there. It's already kitted up. It's already nicely um, presented. Um, and I've just got all the names. See, Sewing Machine, Brothers, and so on. And then, of course, the ones that I was showing you, they were going up here. So let me pop you back up in the cradle, back into a microphone. Okay, you're snug up there. You're all snug up there. So that brings, so that's what number we're down to four. We are, ladies and gentlemen, down to our top three. Are you ready? Can you guess what they may be? I don't even know. Oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Three. Well, it's gonna be three, two, one. Kind of, sort of. Anywho, you ready? 
Let's pop them aside. That's three. Let's go. Sorry. That's um that's uh three. Oh, before I get to this, you can see that poke in there. Just so that you know, you can buy, which I've got set aside. Excuse this rude cord of mine. Uh, you can buy extra spare containers and you can buy all combinations. You can buy the big ones, the mini ones or the little ones and you can buy extras individually which I've done before and I've got them aside. I just wanted to throw that in there. Okay, so coming in at number three. Dun, dun, dun. And you might be thinking, but Gracie, we've seen this before, but I'm telling you, no, you haven't. Coming in, oh, don't worry about this. This is there for a reason, and I'll tell you why. Is this here, okay? This is waiting to be kit kitted down. This in here is my painting from Die Moon Shop. There's my overflows up here, ready to put away. I love this. Love, 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 love these. I told you before, it's my Tic Tacs on steroids that I'm in love with and for sure, for sure. Is it? Is that the painting? Have I got that many left over? E, K, I'm just trying to remember the symbols. Yeah, hang on. No, maybe. I'll be able to tell from up here. Yeah, it's definitely my... DIY moonshop. Jeez, I had a lot of uh, I had a lot of diamonds left over, a lot. Like I, I didn't run out of anything. I just got concerned there that I thought maybe that was another painting that I wasn't sure. But I recognise what's in here. So I love this. I absolutely love it. And in this one, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, eight. It's a forty. You get forty in this one. Okay. 40 and and rather than they being this the round cutouts what are they well of course they, they are the, the square cutouts and you can take these out and interchange them with anything else that's of the same shape and size if you're wanting to muck around with your colors and things like that so that's your 40 let me open and that's one that's one case it's a really retro one this is another matching retro one Okay, this one in here, oh, let me, yeah, this one in here is what is another whip that is next on my list to finish because Hanukkah is coming up. This is a full crystal one. I've put this on top here to ensure that if this accidentally gets flicked upside down, that this protects it and they don't go flying everywhere because sometimes the one downfall with these is that the lids do easily 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 come off now you can combat that you just put a piece of washi tape around the outside of this and that will hold it nice and snug okay so you can get away with avoiding that situation one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five eight so 40 we're down to 40 again so this is 40 and you can see that this particular one only had 24 colors but it's kitted up beautifully in here. These, my overflows here, I could have, if I wanted to, fill the back ones up, but I decided not to, okay? So, I'm just gonna pop that like so. Pop these in here. So they're my 40 cases. That brings us to number Two. Dun, da, 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 da. I know, you're thinking, but Grace, you just showed us that. And it's like, yes, I know, but no. No, but no. <laughs> so let me tell you why this is my second favourite. Second favourite container to work out of. Well, is it obvious? Look at all that gloriousness. Look at all that gloriousness. And this is what I was referring to earlier. See, I've got a plain white sticker here. But then when I kit up, I put the sticker over it so that, see that? So that when you're looking at it, it just looks all pretty and all uniform. See that? 
This one here is a Diamond Art Club. I know what this one is. It's a Diamond Art Club. It's the Eagle. I can't remember the name of the painting. But why is this different from that? Because look how many you get. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nines are 54. So that's why. And these are my, did I say that these are my overflows? I can't remember. So this is number three. Yep. This is number two. Are you curious to know what my number one favorite, favorite all time, I cannot get enough of, I will sing the praises. Do you want to see it? All right, let's, let's get rid of all this. Put all these aside and let me get you. I think you should know, right? You should know by now. You've seen me use it so many times. But this is my all time, all time, all time, all time favorite container. Let me just, I've got to reach down because it's on the floor down there. You don't understand what I've had to do to get this together. <laughs> Do you know what I'm bringing up? I'm trying to make sure that I don't drop it. You hearing it rattling around? But ladies and gentlemen, this is my all time favorite storage and diamond painting um, solution, I suppose. This is it, this is definitely it. You can see I've put junk in there. That's all my trash. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This container here has been salvation. It is, I'll try to remember to link it up in the eye. You can watch the video. I suggest highly if you go to purchase one of these, watch that video because let me tell you to finagle these screws in here and put this thing together. Oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. Okay, but huh, I've got to tell you, well worth it well worth it this sits literally in like I, I literally put the painting underneath this this sits inside a cardboard box so that it's nice and soft as it sits on the painting i have got my all-time favorite containers in here that's why i love these containers so much they are in numerical order alphabetical order here and then um, my ab's and and shapes in this particular painting this painting here is my Mary's Diamonds custom that I'm doing at the moment. The Gracie's Diamond World custom, okay? This here is a cover minder, I think. From memory, I got from Shine Like a Diamond and she sits up there. My other cover minder that I use, well, I don't really use it, but I sit to have up there, I don't know where I've sort of yeeted it at the moment, is the one from Jenny's shop. But this is my all time number one. Without a doubt, without fail, no hesitation, hands down, favorite way to diamond paint. I can't even tell you how much I, I wanna rant and rave about this, this, this system here. Now, you, I, I want to go looking. I haven't needed it yet, but in the event that I end up doing paintings with more than what I can fit across here as far as these go. So you can fit comfortably if I wanted to, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could put sixty-six in here. They would be tightish, but I could put it in here if I wanted to. So it would hold sixty-six of these. If you want to go looking for one of these yourself, simply Google on Amazon or Etsy or wherever a nail polish stand, because that's what essentially I got. It's sturdy enough, hopefully, I mean like Milo, my great Dane, his nose does reach right across the desk, but I'm confident that he won't knock it off because I have it sitting in something else. I guess I'm saying that for you guys out there, that if you wanted to have it out and you guys have got cats or little dogs that jump up on your desk and you're worried about your diamonds and things, that would be maybe a concern for you or not a concern for you. You've got to work that out with your fur babies. However, that brings me to the end. It brings me to the end. I thought maybe this video would have gone a little bit longer. I, this, this here has been 
my joy, my salvation. I'm not even joking. Up here, like with everything you've seen so far, is my overflow. It's probably, I, I've been a little bit lazy and I just haven't filled um, the rest of them up down here yet. I mean, that, oh, that probably still can't, it'll be too much to fill in there. So they just sit up there, happily living their best life, minding their own business, my little overflows and simple 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 so this is my this is it of all the things that i have researched of all the things that i've used and and seen and unboxed and finagled with and struggled with and enjoyed and so on and so forth it comes down to this system here well guys i hope you've enjoyed today i have been wanting to put this video together for such a long time for cost efficiency uh, just let me talk quickly. Quantity, the amount that these hold, they hold a lot. For what you can pick these up for, they are relatively cheap. Now, please understand, I live in Australia and before people start saying to me, Harbour Freight, Harbour Freight, Harbour Freight, I can't get Harbour Freight here in Australia. There's no Harbour Freight for me here. Uh, we just we they don't ship to us. I don't have any, uh, and that's fine by me. So, the most the cost the most cost effective, I suppose, was this system here from Kmart. Okay, the, these bottles were super cheap. I think they were like uh, I want to say six or four dollars for the set of bottles. Okay, they come in a separate container, and then this whole carry case was six dollars. So that that's. That's probably the equivalent as far as cost for cost goes with the Harbour Freight. This, however, if you've got a little bit more coin to spend, I love these. Uh, I literally, I will use my tray and I'll pour it back into here. Um, easy, it's just, and depending on the width of my pen, I can get my pen all the way in there if I just wanna dabble in and get one or two. Simple as that. I, that's all I've really got to say. I'm not going to go too much more. However, just to say thank you. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Uh, I do have, this is not the end of my storage solution uh, quest because I do have some more on their way. Yes, I know. I know. You'd think that I was done, but no. Your Gracie girl's got more to come. But this video I've been wanting to make for a very, 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 very long time. That's my top, top 20 in a pretty accurate order of my likes. If you've got any questions or anything like that, I would love for you guys in the comments below, let me know by using the word storage, what storage you guys like to use. What is it you like to use? And in telling me what you like to use, tell me what it is you don't like to use. Because, you know, if you've had a bad experience yourself with a particular storage solution, it could guide other people and give other people some advice. It's not all about me sitting up here flapping my gums and telling you what I like. This is about me and my tribe, which is you guys, my peeps, you peeps, sharing in amongst each other what it is you like about your storage solution, your favorite one, and what you have tried in the past that hasn't worked. Okay, so with all that being said, I do wanna say, Thank you so much. If you haven't hit the like, I would love for you to do so. If you haven't hit the subscribe, I would doubly, triply like you to do so. Wherever you guys are in your part of the world, please do look after yourselves. Look after each other, have each other's backs. It is so, so super important. And until I see you next time, I'm going to send you all bunches of love and ciao, ciao for now.